More than four decades before the Topps mass shooting in East Buffalo, the city's black community was terrorized by a man known as the 22 caliber killer. In fact, in September of 1980, Joseph Christopher began his killing spree. He murdered three black men and a 14 year old boy in a 36 hour span in Buffalo. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley went back through our archives tonight to learn more about Buffalo's tragic history with hate crimes. The fear was palpable. 42 years ago, serial killer Joseph Christopher began killing people right here in Buffalo, dubbed the 22 caliber killer because of the semi-automatic rifle used in the killings. Former Buffalo Common Council member James Pitts remembers it well. People were uh, trying to arm themselves in many cases. Uh, uh, I can remember with the uh, Black Leadership Forum, we had meetings to talk about how we could begin to protect, you know, the community. Christopher shot his first victim, a 14-year-old black boy, outside a Buffalo supermarket. Over the next few days, he shot three more black men dead, all in September of 1980. It was one of those terrible, terrible circumstances uh, among human beings that you don't ever want to have to repeat or have any experience, direct experience with. Buffalo attorney and former Erie County District Attorney Ed Cosgrove prosecuted the case. He tells me it caused havoc in the black community, much like the Topps massacre. Buffalo has suffered enormously as a result of this, and probably there isn't any other city uh, in the country that has had this sort of experience. By October, two more victims were killed. Another man was attacked outside a Buffalo hospital and survived. He described the killer to police, saying Christopher used a derogatory term before trying to kill him. The murders of African Americans then extended into Rochester and New York City before he was captured. Christopher attacked a total of 19, killing 12 of them. Cosgrove recalls searching the home of Christopher's mother in Buffalo, where he found shell casings linked to the killings. Somehow or another, her son had become twisted by whatever. And he did what he did. Pitts tells me in order to stop these hate crimes, it has to begin with what our children are being taught. We have to begin to get them to understand who they are, uh, what this country is about, and also to talk about where they're going. Now, James Pitts also noted that in comparing the two cases, he says Tops was much worse. He called it shock and more tragic and even more so than the 22 caliber killings. Live in studio tonight, Eileen Buckley, 7 News. So much to learn, Eileen, right from our difficult history. Thank you for that story tonight.